Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Wednesday, the 8th of March. Australian PM arrives in India to boost economic and defence ties. Afghan women train as midwives for remote villages. And people across India celebrate Festival of Colours, Holi. And now for all the details. Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese on Wednesday arrived in the Indian city of Ahmedabad, commencing his maiden visit to India, aiming to strengthen ties between the two countries through deeper trade, investment and defence relations. The visit is expected to provide further momentum to their comprehensive strategic partnership, India's Foreign Ministry said in a statement. Albanese begins his visit from home state of Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and is scheduled to witness the opening of the fourth test between India and Australia before going on board India's indigenously produced aircraft carrier INS Vikrant. He will receive ceremonial welcome later in New Delhi on Friday where he will resume talks with PM Modi. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Wednesday attended the swearing-in ceremony of Chief Minister Manik Saha in Tripura state where the BJP-led government has retained power for a second term. Indicating that the saffron tide is still strong, BJP and its allies have swayed hold of Tripura and northeastern states of Nagaland and Meghalaya in recently held polls. The Modi government has in recent years pumped millions of dollars to build infrastructure in the far-flung states that share borders with Bangladesh, Bhutan, China and Myanmar. The BJP faces further popularity tests this year as six more states vote before national elections in 2024. Pakistan, Russia and five other nations bordering Afghanistan have set up a club to discuss ways to achieve long-term peace in the war-torn nation with diplomats at the inaugural meeting on Tuesday in Tashkent calling for a freeze on Afghan central bank assets to be lifted. In a statement, Uzbekistan's foreign ministry said the representatives of the seven nations plan to meet regularly to discuss issues facing Afghanistan. The group emphasized the frozen assets should be used primarily to pay the salaries of school teachers and doctors and at the same time to support the part of the population which is in a difficult situation. The United States froze some 7 billion US dollars in central bank assets after the Taliban takeover in 2021 with a further 2 billion dollars frozen in European banks. The UN last month said 6 million people in Afghanistan are at risk of famine and are in urgent need of aid. In an effort to save isolated mothers and babies in Afghanistan, young women are undergoing training in remote villages where medical help is scarce. The United Nations estimates an Afghan woman dies every two hours during pregnancy and childbirth, making Afghanistan's maternal mortality rate the highest in Asia. A report. Forty young women from villages in Afghanistan's Bamiyan province have enrolled in a two-year training program that started in April last year to save isolated mothers and babies. The program has been initiated by the UN Refugee Agency with the local charity association. Women were seen learning crucial skills which may one day help them assist pregnant women in the safe deliveries in their village homes. Many of the trainees, some with small children of their own, have faced logistical and financial challenges, often having to travel huge distances or live far from home to attend the program. As per UN figures, around 24,000 Afghan women give birth each month in remote rural areas without access to health care. <laughs> روزانه ما مشاهد از هستیم که مثلا در این عصر زمان مادرای از ما در سر به توجهی یا مثلا درست مراقبت نمیشد در زمان ولادت از بین مرا و باعث شد به ما انگیزه ایجاد شد که ما بیم درس بخونم در کلاس مدوای فری تا بتونم که در اونا مصدر خدمت 
Meanwhile, according to an estimate from the International Labour Organization, employment in Afghanistan has dropped by a quarter after the Taliban took over the country and informed that the fall was exasperated by restrictions on women working and studying. Taliban authorities have barred most girls from high school, stopped women from attending universities and most female NGO workers from working. The International Monetary Fund on Tuesday said crisis hit Sri Lanka had secured financing assurances from China, India and all its major bilateral creditors, paving the way for it to consider approval of a long-awaited $2.9 billion bailout. The lenders board will meet on March 20 to review the preliminary four-year agreement, IMF chief Kristalina Georgieva said. Sri Lankan President Ranil Vikramasinghe earlier told the parliament the IMF deal was crucial to ensure other creditors could also release funds. An IMF program would give Sri Lanka foreign exchange funds to purchase sorely needed goods and ease inflation. As part of reforms, the government has hiked income taxes to up to 36% and raised power tariffs by two-thirds. Sri Lankan officials have underscored the urgency of moving forward given concerns about social unrest amid high inflation and food and fuel shortages. Over 15 people were killed and dozen others were reportedly injured after an explosion occurred in Bangladesh's capital Dhaka on Tuesday evening. According to a statement by the local fire service, the blast occurred inside a seven-story building, causing heavy damage to two floors. However, the reason of the blast was unclear. Seventeen bodies of the victims were handed over to their family members, while three people were reportedly missing till early Wednesday, local media reported. The death toll was likely to rise further as many of these rescued were critically injured. People across India on Wednesday celebrated the festival of colours, Holi, by smearing each other with colours and dancing to beats of drums. Celebrated at the onset of the spring, Holi is associated with the eternal love of Hindu Lord Krishna and his consort Radha. Take a look. Thousands of devotees thronged temples in India's northern Mathura district associated with Hindu god Lord Krishna and reveled in the festival of colours Holi on Wednesday by smearing each other with colours and dancing to religious songs. Celebrating the eternal love of Lord Krishna and his consort Radha, Holi is the most awaited festival in India, especially among the youth as people forget mutual differences and play with colours. Heralding spring, Holi represents a time of forgiveness, renewed friendship and the triumph of good over evil. Overwhelmed, overwhelmed by, by all the colors and all the people and everything good that's happening. The festival is also associated with mythological story of child devotee Prahlad being protected by the god from his aunt Holika, who wanted to burn him alive, marking the triumph of good over evil. Meanwhile, U.S. Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo also participated in the Holi festivities hosted by Indian Defence Minister Rajnath Singh at his residence in New Delhi. Raimondo and Singh were seen dancing and beating drums as they smeared each other with colours during the celebrations. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.